What's up guys, this is Puka back with the final round two match from the Top Cut Invitational between Tom Dozel on the left and Sammy Sakum on the right. Now both of these players highly regarded as two of the most consistent players in the history of the game. Tom Dozel always seems to make top eight at US Nationals, he made top four at Worlds last year, and just overall, he shows up to the big events and destroys. Sammy? He seems to go undefeated at Worlds in Swiss every year, and he makes top eight almost every year at Worlds, and he's been the UK's national champion a ton of times. So both of these players, world class, and we're going to see what happens here in a straight Dark Cry Mirror match. Now, of course, Tom is the one who pioneered this deck. You know, it was just the two Smeargle, four Dark Cry deck. He played at US Nationals. It seemed so simple, like how would that ever work? And it worked. And uh, a lot of people copied him. Because it was like, well, this deck is super consistent. It's really fast. And it's very powerful. You can win any matchup and you're very consistent. Why not play this? And Sammy is deciding to play this deck as well. He will have the advantage by going first. But there are a lot of things that can happen in this matchup that can sway it. Uh, it might seem like, oh, well, first Night Spear wins. But there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Especially now that people are running Potion in their deck. Now, there's stuff like Lost Remover that can make a difference to remove special energy. There's stuff like N that Sammy plays. I don't know if Tom actually plays N, but uh, that could be a factor. Uh, Potion is the big one. EV Lights are the big ones. And we'll see what happens in this matchup. Uh, it's interesting to note that Sammy did bench that Darkrai. Uh, normally in this matchup, you want... To only have Dark Rise with Eevee Lights on your field. That way when you Night Spear, or when you get Night Speared, you take 20 less damage. So, it means the bench damage is less. It means the damage to your active is only 70. And if your opponent can get a couple Night Spears, even just the 30 damage, or even just a catcher, hit that Dark Rise for 90. You're going to be at a disadvantage because this is not a Dark Rise Mewtwo mirror match. This is just... Darkrai EX. The most anyone ever is going to do is Night Spear. You know, maybe there's some plus powers and special darks here and there that can throw some math off, but at the end of the day, it's just Night Spear over and over. There's not going to be any big Shaman to Mewtwo X Ball knockouts, so every single bit of damage is going to count. Now, we do see Tom be the first one to go with Smeargle, and he's going to retreat and portrait. He's going to get Sammy's N. And we'll see who end, uh, ends up getting the first Night Spear. Now, Smeargle, that's definitely a card you want in play in this matchup, because if you give up that one prize from Smeargle, it doesn't actually make a difference at all. If your opponent knocks it out, they still have to knock out three Dark Rai EXs to beat you. So, Smeargle is all pure benefit, no drawback at all, unless, you know, you porch it into a Juniper and you have to discard seven Junk Arms. Which uh, is not physically possible, but I think you get the idea. Um, but yeah, Smeargle is just great for helping you set up. And I think Tom is going to get a bit of an advantage just by being able to portrait that end. He gets uh, more cards to look at. And it looks like he's thinking about a Junk Arm or an Ultra Ball here to get a Dark Patch and power up his Dark Rye a little quick, a little quicker this turn. Uh, we're going to wait to see what he does, though. He does have a Junk Arm or an Ultra Ball. So he's going to Junk Arm. Yep, go for the Dark Patch. And he'll have two energy on his Dark Eye. One of them is a special Dark, though. So I do know Sammy plays Lost Remover. Maybe that will come into play and set Tom back a little bit. We do see a random receiver, though, so he's going to keep flipping over cards until he gets a supporter. He got that Juniper. And... Um, one of the funny things about Random Receiver is that people get so annoyed that they have to keep flipping cards that they just do it mindlessly, and then a lot of the time they just keep flipping even after the supporter. And you're like, oh, whoops, sorry. I revealed more than I should have. Uh, it seems to happen quite frequently with Random Receiver for some reason. Uh, Alright, so we're going to see a Junk Arm. Uh, and he's just going to Random Receiver again. Doesn't want to go through the motions. And he's going to end. <laughs> Uh, I think they're okay with this. 
Tom's like, yeah, whatever, I know what you're playing. Not a big deal. Uh, so, these players are pretty familiar with each other. I'm not sure how much they actually talk, but they uh, are complete veterans of the game. They've been around, I think, they've both been playing at least since the Nintendo World Championships, way before that, actually. Um, but I'm sure they've met at least many, many times at the World Championships. Um, they've at least interacted with each other, so I'm sure... They're friendly, they respect each other, they know each other is very, very good, and, you know, this is going to be a mainly friendly game. It's going to be very competitive. Don't don't confuse friendly with not competitive, but, you know, it, it's going to be fun, but they're going to be trying their heart out to try to beat the other guy into the ground. <laughs> so, Sammy does get his own Smeargle into play, and a special Dark of his own on his Darkrai. He actually decides to bench the third Darkrai. Uh, this might be... Because he's afraid to portrait the Juniper. But it looks like he gets an N instead. And yeah. They're both going to shuffle in and draw six. Normally benching that Dark Eye would not be a good idea. Like I said earlier. You really need the Eevee Light on it. Otherwise it's going to be a big target. And your opponent will get an advantage. Just by being able to do full damage to your Dark Eye. But uh, it would be worse... To have to portrait into a Juniper and discard your Darkrai. Because there's only four Darkrais in your deck. Those are your only attackers. Um, so yeah. He decided it was safer just to bench it. And he gets an Eevee Light anyway. So, no harm, no foul. And right now, Sammy is looking in great shape. He lost Remover. Tom's special Dark. And uh, yeah, I mean, this could still go either way. But, man, this is uh, looking great for Sammy. He's got three... Dark Rise of the Eevee Lights, and um, we have another Lost Remover from Tom. So you can see these decks are almost completely similar. You know, right down to the Lost Removers. They do play different versions of Special Dark and different versions of Smeargle, though. Uh, I guess that could be a difference between them. So Tom will Ultra Ball away a Dark and a Potion. And looks like he's grabbing another Dark Rise. Just going to check his deck to see if... There are any Dark Rise prize? It looks like there might be one Dark Rise prize. So there's one in there. Actually, there's two in there, I believe. Uh, let's see, one and yeah, two more Dark Rise in there. So you won't have to worry about anything like, you know, running out of attackers. If your opponent knocks out three Dark Rise, you lose the game. You might need the fourth one later uh, if the game gets to a point where. Both players have just run dry on resources and don't have any catchers left. Where you would take a hit with one Darkrai and retreat to the other one. You would have the fourth one out just as a fresh attacker that doesn't have any damage on it. So it's probably not a good idea to have to discard your, your fourth Darkrai, but it won't be the end of the world if you do. So now uh, Tom is going to go right for Sammy's Darkrai. He's saying, alright, I need to get the first hit in on you with Night Sphere. I'm going to catcher out that dark eye with the energy and he gets an eevee light on his other dark eye but i don't know if he got the resources to actually night spear this turn he's only got one energy on the benched guy and he has no sky arrow or switch in order to um to move the, the smear girl out of the active he does have the switch but he doesn't have the energy and it looks like he's gonna portrait and see that there is absolutely nothing wow so Sammy has quite a poor hand, uh, but this catcher will serve to make it more difficult uh, to for Sammy. And Tom's just going to take a look at the hand again. Uh, it's going to make it more difficult for Sammy to portrait and then switch into a Night Sphere. So catching out the Dark Guy, still a good idea. Tom, he does not get the Night Sphere this turn, but fortunately for him, he does not have a supporter in hand for Sammy to portrait. So you can see this game kind of turns into who has supporters, who can use portrait, who can't, and can I keep supporters out of my hand for my opponent not to use? It gets kind of complicated. <laughs> and now uh, Sammy will catch out Tom's Darkrai and then he will portrait and see... Alright, that's a handful of trainers. He does have the random receiver so he can get a supporter, but right now he doesn't have a supporter, so all he can do is pass. So now Tom is going to catch out that Dark Rye once again. And he's going for the random receiver. He's going to hope for anything but a Juniper, I think. Or anything but an N. And, of course, he gets an N. 
Uh, he did not want to give Sammy the new hand there. That was the last thing he wanted to have happen. He knows Sammy's hand is horrendous. So the last thing he wants is to give him a new hand of six, but now he's kind of forced to, because he played the random receiver. He got the end. Even if he doesn't play the end, Sammy will just retreat and portrait and get a new hand anyway. And this, this is information that Sammy has because you have to reveal the supporter. So now Tom has no choice but to switch to his dark ride and then play the end and get an energy and hope that Sammy continues to draw poorly. <laughs> Uh, hope that Sammy doesn't get anything great off of his six cards, but Tom's just going to think, all right, I'm going to have the first Night Spear, so I'm going to have the advantage anyway. Maybe I'll be all right even if I give him a new hand. It won't be the end of the world. This is unfortunately what N does sometimes. It's a great disruption card at the end of the game, but early on it can actually help your opponent out quite a bit. And yeah, let's see, Tom, all right, he does get an energy. Looks like that's a third basic dark. Special Dark, very good. It adds 10 damage, but the downside is that Lost Remover just takes it out of play. So it's it's a big trade-off. I'm sure Special Dark will come into play at some point, just saying, all right, I'm going to add 10 extra damage that I didn't have before. Um, for example, if you have two Special Darks and a Darkrai, you can Night Spear for 90 against an Eevee Lighted Darkrai, which makes it a 2-hit knockout instead of a 3-hit knockout which makes all the difference. I don't know if that will happen. Um, if if Sammy ever gets two special dark on a dark guy, Tom is just going to, you know, lost remover one of them. He'll say, all right, I need to use a junk arm just to make sure I don't get knocked up. Buy a Night Sphere. But here he's just going to hit that dark guy for 70 and then 10 on the other one. So this is going to be a very, very slow war of attrition between these Eevee lighted dark rise that can only do 70 damage a turn uh, it's quite pathetic in a way to think that dark Rai is the card that absolutely dominated the world championships and I mean uh, there's no question about it dark Rai was seven out of the eight top eight decks at the world championships this year and it's only doing 70 damage <laughs> it can't even knock the other dark rise and play out efficiently um it just it relies so much on the night spear bench damage eevee light and healing cards are really the two ways to get or or to lessen the effect of of dark rise power i mean eevee light it reduces stuff by 20 reducing the bench damage by 20 is probably the big one um night spear's power comes from being able to set up multiple knockouts and, I mean, if you can just take away that option from that, only make it do 10, Night Spear is going to be so much worse. So now we're going to see Sammy uh, switch into his Smeargle. He'll get a portrait off this turn. He, he can potion. He has that in his hand, so yes, he's going to potion. And he'll go from 70 to 40. It still doesn't prevent two more hits from a Night Spear knocking him out, but if he gets one more potion or a Junk Arm, he can actually make Night Spear be a four-hit knockout. And this is why we saw the decks like the uh, Quad Entei deck do so well against Darkrai. It would just run so many healing cards and Eviolites that Night Spear would not be efficient at all. And even though Entei wasn't that great, it would just slowly plow over Darkrai because it's saying, okay, I have potions, I have Moomoo Moo Milks, I have Life Herbs, and you are never going to knock me out. And it's going to take you forever to knock me out. And even though I'm just doing 70 as well, I'm going to knock you out first because I play more healing cards. So, the fact that these players have their Eevee Lights all on board has changed the dynamic of this matchup completely. And Potion, Lost Remover, Eevee Light, these are all cards that are going to make this a difficult game. But wow, Sammy actually missed... A Night Spear that turn. That was very strange. Um, he played two Dark Patches on the the Dark Rye with the um, the undamaged Dark Rye, the one that now has two basic Darks on it. He also had a switch in hand. He he could have played it safe and just kind of switched and Dark Patched onto that uh, Dark Rye. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking out of order, but. 
That was really unlucky, I guess, is my point. Um, to not be able to Night Spear that turn, wow. Uh, all it took was one more energy on either of those Dark Rise, and he is just going to respond with a Night Spear back to Tom, but now he is going to be behind a turn. This won't matter too much if Tom doesn't have a catcher. That's going to be a big thing here. Um, if, if Tom has a catcher, then he can just bring up a Dark Rise again and get a hit in on it. But if he just knocks out the Smeargle, that's not too big of a deal. He's going to take the prize, but uh, that's that's about it. Uh, he will have a Junk Arm here. He's going to switch to his Smeargle. Uh, he's going to Junk Arm. Looks like he's going to discard one of his Dark Rise. Don't really want to do... Okay, there we go. He's not going to get rid of a Dark Rise. He's going to Junk Arm for a Catcher onto Sammy's 40 damage Dark Rise. Uh, let's see, he's gonna... He accidentally discarded the two cards he wanted to keep, apparently. And he's gonna portrait and see two switches, a Junk Arm, a Dark Patch, and an Ultra Ball. Not a very good hand. So these guys are, are trying so hard to avoid the other player using portrait that they end up... Um... I mean, they end up just having horrible hands themselves. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing, like... It's such a weird mind game where you're trying so hard to deny your opponent's supporters that you actually deny yourself supporters. This can happen quite frequently, but if you already have the advantage, then there's no real downside to it, I suppose. Uh, in Tom's position, the only bad part is that he um, does not have a second Darkrai powered up. He's got plenty of resources left to do it, I think, but... I don't know, he, if this Dark Rai gets knocked out, which granted won't happen anytime soon, it's going to take at least three turns for Sammy to get a knockout on it. Uh, but if it were to happen anytime soon, then he would not have a Dark Rai to follow up with. And who knows. So here Sammy's going to Junk Arm away. Two switches for a potion, which will bring him down to 80 damage, which makes it tougher for Tom to get a Night Spear knockout, but there's 80 damage on him. Uh, if he has a couple plus powers and a special dark, he could pull that off. And ooh, Sammy gets the second special dark. That is a very big deal. This Night Spear now will do 90 damage, which is a two-hit knockout. And this is where um, it, it gets scary for Tom if he doesn't power up the next dark Darkrai. However, he might have a potion which would negate the extra damage. So it's really hard to tell what can happen here. This game is just going to be back and forth. Uh, I don't think we'll see anybody even take prizes for a while. <laughs> and uh, as strange as it might be to think about, someone might deck out before he takes six prizes. <laughs> um, they're just going through the deck so quickly uh, with... Ultra Balls, Junk Arms, Junipers, Portraits, blah blah blah. That it might be just not feasible to take all of your prizes if your opponent can potion all the time. And we see Sammy Junk Arms away. Two of his supporters just to get a potion back. And then he's going to Night Spear the Active for 90. And I think he's going to hit the Dark Rai for 10. Hitting the Smeargle doesn't really matter that much. Because it's just that one prize. But he's going to go for it anyway. Uh... I actually don't mind that at all from Sammy. What he's thinking is, alright, I realize that taking the prize doesn't matter, but taking away Portrait does matter. So if I can knock out this Smeargle, I'm going to do it. Why not? And uh, I actually agree with that philosophy a lot. Smeargle, even though it only gives up the one prize, and it won't help you in the long run to win on prizes, it will help you in the long run by denying your opponent Portrait. So then you don't have to worry about uh, keeping supporters out of your hand. That's going to be a big deal. So I do like that play from Sammy. Tom is taking the alternate approach, saying, alright, even though I'm only doing 10 damage, eventually this will add up. Eventually this will make it so that my Night Spears are 2-hit knockouts instead of 3-hit knockouts. And if I can pull that off at any point, that is going to be a huge victory for me. Also with Potion in the mix... I don't know how many plus powers Tom plays, if any, anymore. But with with Potion in the mix, um, you know, it, it could mess up your plus power damage, that kind of stuff. So, who knows. 
And right now, um, looks like they ran out of dice. There's too much damage on board. And um, Sammy's going to Night Spear for 90 once again. But it looks like Tom's going to get the first knockout here. Now the only problem for Tom is that he doesn't really have anything in his hand. Um, he can get the two prizes here on Sammy's Dark Rai. But after that, if he doesn't draw anything and his Smeargle gets knocked out, he can't even portrait. What's his follow-up plan? Uh, he will not have even a Pokemon to promote to Dark Patch to his Dark Rai. That could be a major problem. And I, I have to, once again, commend Sammy for the play to go after the Smeargle. It's, it's big for a lot of reasons. Number one is taking away Portrait. He knows Tom has a horrible hand. Uh, number two is just not giving Tom a Pokemon to promote after he knocks out this Darkrai. Then he can't Dark Patch to it. So at the very least, it should slow Tom down a turn, even though he's going to get the first two prizes. Uh, the board position might very well belong to Sammy. So we'll see what Tom decides to do. He, it looks like he doesn't have very many cards in hand, just two. And what option does he have besides Night Spear? Oh, he's got a potion. Wow, that was a big card, and he had to waste it on the Smeargle, but he knows, all right, I, I need to actually use this on the Smeargle, otherwise I'm going to lose. And the, now it's up to Sammy. He can potion the 30 damage off his Darkrai. So you can see potion is really, really good. Uh, potion's always been a very underrated card, but, you know, it it got much better with, with Darkrai out because, heck, <laughs> Healing the 30 from Night Spear's bench damage, or even healing some of the damage done, is such a big deal. Uh, now it looks like Tom ripped a Juniper off the top of his deck. So, wow, that was a, a big turn of events. Having that potion was a big deal as well. Uh, looks like stuff is definitely going Tom's way at this point. He gets the Juniper. He had a Junk Arm away, another Junk Arm, but he got to Dark Patch, which was big. He'll get the first hit in on Sammy's Dark Rye. And this is going to just turn into a battle of resources. And it looks like Sammy has a random receiver, loss remover, potion. He's got a lot of good stuff in there. But he's behind on the Night Spear War. The one thing he has is he has another Dark Ryan play, whereas Tom really does not. Um, doesn't look like he has a way to get a Dark Ryan play. In the near future, he's played a lot of Ultra Balls and Junk Arms at this point, so he's just going to have to draw into one blindly. He also discarded his th third Dark Rye. He only has one left. Sammy puts down his fourth Dark Rye with, looks like a fourth Eviolite. So Sammy will take the knockout on the Smeargle. He's going to hit the Dark Rye for 70, and uh, this is kind of a scary spot for Tom. This is not ideal situation for him. But he's certainly in a decent position. He, um, I mean, that one potion from Sammy does not make too much of a difference. Uh, it's still two more Night Spears and Tom gets a knockout. That's not a big deal at all. Because um, he's at 40 damage. Two Night Spears is 140 with the Eviolites. And that will knock him out. And wow, Tom rips the fourth Dark Eye. He had an Ultra Ball as well, but uh, he would prefer not to discard cards at this point. So he'll get that Dark Ride down with an energy, but he does not even Eevee Light. That is a gigantic deal. The the Night Spear damage will certainly add up if he doesn't have an Eevee Light. So now I, I don't know what Tom's plan is here to win this game. Uh, he's gone through a lot of Junk Arms. He's gone through a lot of Potions. Um, he, he's played a lot of Eevee Lights already. And just everything. So I, I don't know what these players actually have left at this point. You know, you when you have Junk Arm, you kind of feel like you're invincible. You have everything at your disposal. You can reuse everything. But even those are limited. And in a game where everything takes so long, it takes so many hits to knock out your opponent. Like, you're not used to this with Darkrai. Um, and actually, Sammy's going to random receiver, and his last card is an N. So it looks like that is his only supporter for the rest of the game. That is a huge concern for a couple reasons. Number one, he might actually just deck out. Um, he, he doesn't have any way to shuffle cards back in anymore. He does not play Super Rod. 
That's going to be his last N. Uh, if he ever portraits into a Juniper or an Oak's New Theory, he's going to lose just because he runs out of cards. So portrait is not an option anymore, and he's going to have to end himself down to three cards. Not a situation you want to be in. And yikes, uh, I don't know how else to put this. He's probably looking for a Dark Energy here, so he can Night Spear with his benched Dark Ribe and avoid the active one getting knocked out, but it looks like that's not going to happen. And Tom, he's got things going his way right now. If Sammy can't get an energy next turn, that's going to be huge. And it looks like Tom has a... Oh, we got the Eevee Light. That is such a big moment in this game. He's got a Dark Patch as well. So he'll be able to actually power up this Dark Rye. This was a huge four cards from Tom. He got a Dark Patch, an energy, and an Eevee Light. He's going to be able to power up his dark, or his, his bench dark ride, retreat, and avoid Sammy getting the two prizes unless he has a catcher. And with resources running so thin at this point, you have to imagine that Sammy just might not have a catcher. Uh, but Tom, he's thinking about it. He's saying, all right, let me, let me check how many catches you've used so far <laughs> before I jump into this here. Because this does create an interesting scenario for me. Where I could just get Night Spirit a bunch of times and lose. The, the bench damage could add up eventually. So let's uh, let's take it slow here. Let's consider my options here. Uh, I think he's going to try to add up. Alright, how many Night Spears does it take for you to win if I retreat? As opposed to how many Night Spears does it take for you to win if I just keep this one active and get it knocked out? It's an interesting question, actually. I think he has a better shot if he retreats. Just because if he leaves the, the active one there and Night Spears, his bench one will get hit for 10, meaning it's just two Night Spears to get knocked out, unless he gets a potion. So I think overall it might be better for him to retreat here. Uh, this is a very pivotal decision for Tom. A very tricky spot indeed. He, he has to know Sammy is running low on resources, so it's not going to be an easy decision either way, but he is going to leave the active one there. And take the knockout. Alright, that's a big moment in the game. Sammy will promote his Smeargle. Now again, I don't think he can use Portrait here. If he does, and has less than 7 cards. Or, or if he has like 7, 8, or 9 cards left in his deck and he gets a Juniper, he's going to lose. There's no way around it. Uh, he will deck out. He doesn't have any way to prevent that. So right now, he's just going to retreat. He recognizes that I cannot Portrait. He's going to Night Spear. But the problem for Sammy is that he's going to be on the bad end of the Night Spear Exchange. Tom will get the first one, and he's going to check to see how many cards he has left in his deck. <laughs> uh, because he does have the Juniper in hand. And he wants to get rid of that stuff just in case he gets end. And he's going for it. He's going to draw seven cards. It looks like he has one or two left. I can't tell. If it's one, then uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, if it's two, then he should be alright. So he is going to Night Spear for 80 this turn. And if Sammy has one more potion, does he deck Tom out? I can't actually tell if there's one or two cards left in Tom's deck. This is coming down to the wire. I mean, you wouldn't expect anything less from these two players. Uh, I think Sammy's just going to check to see how many catchers Tom has used, how many junk arms he's used, that kind of stuff. And does Sammy have a potion? That's what it's going to come down to, actually. If he does, he'll survive the turn. If not, ugh, he's going to be in some trouble. Uh, if he has a lost remover, oh, well, yeah, that's a big card as well. Now Tom's... Oh, and Tom, he has the special dark. He needed that to win the game. And if he didn't have it, I think Sammy would have won this. But wow, Tom Dozel will win... An extremely close match against Sammy Sukum. The the 80 damage with the special dark from Night Spear would have ended the game, and Sammy just asked him if he had it. Tom showed it to him, extended his hand, and that's going to be the game. So, Sammy Sukum, our second place finisher from last year's Top Gun Invitational, will fall to 0-2 and be eliminated from the tournament. So our two finalists from last year, Jason Glazinski, Sammy Sukum, they've both been eliminated 0-2 just speaks to how tough this competition really is. And Tom Dozel will move on. He'll have one more shot 
to advance to the top four. He will actually face Yamato to see who advances to the top four. So that's going to wrap up this match here. Hope you guys enjoyed this epic Dark Rye Mirror match between two of the best players in the world. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.